How come you guys don't seem excited about this? We don't have enough fuel pump. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's a test we've never, ever done before. We're going to learn stuff. I think I it's cool. I didn't know they made a pump that cheesy and small. <laughs> 20 gallons per hour? <laughs> We're putting the fittings in it. I yeah. mean, it's smaller than like a pencil. It's an yeah. eighth pipe fitting. <laughs> it's scary is what it is. And what yeah. really scares me is this is a pretty good motor. So I'm not liking this much at all. I know, because it's going to go lean horsepower. at the top end. You're going to have to be on it. When the float bowl starts to run dry, you're going to have to be lightning brulee on the shutoff. It'd be funny, though, if it was enough. So what was the application? For this, for this pump. fuel pump? I don't even know. I just went to Summit and found the lamest gallon per hour that they <laughs> offered, and this is what it was. It was like for a 265 Chevy or something like that? It's like for a 283 or something, and what's funny is that it was actually a $60 pump. It's like the next pump we're going to test was 15 bucks. This one was more expensive to be worse. But I wanted to see how bad it could get. So no. here's my, my worry when we could thought of this whole test is that we're going to put the lamest fuel system, and it's just going to be no problem whatsoever. I don't see how 20 <laughs> gallons can keep up. There's going to be a problem. So instead of power this time, we're going to be looking at, let's see, your vein actually, it doesn't measure gallons per hour. It's going to be pounds per hour. So pounds we'll have to convert hour. it. Yeah. And then we're also measuring fuel pressure right up there at the bowl. So okay. this is really, you know, when a motor goes lean, it's, this is like a worst case scenario, potentially. If something were to run out of gas, that's okay. Because then there's nothing to burn. Right. When something oh. goes when something goes lean and it's lean enough that it loses power, but it it's still, still runs. Yeah. Well, but I think we've all had the experience of being in a car that doesn't have a quality fuel system, and you're on it, and it just sort of goes. Bah. It doesn't shut off. No, that's bad. It's right. just running off a of vapor of fuel in the bowl. It's running that's off fear is what it's running <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> so fire it up and let's find out if the 20 gallon per hour mechanical fuel pump can serve 500 horsepower. Are you sure you want to do this to me? It's not my motor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it will be as soon as we're done if you heard it. <laughs> you bought it, Freiburger. You broke it, you bought it. I'm surprised you stayed in it that long. I right? know, I was I was leaving it hang in there at like 14 okay, so when I saw 14.3. That could oh. not hang I at all. I glanced over there and it had 0.7 PSI. Right. Then I heard one misfire and I said, I am done. What happened there is we saw that the fuel pressure just dropped to 0.7 PSI and the air fuel ratio went to 14 to one, meaning it's just running off of vapor in the fuel bowl. Like the pump can barely get enough gas in there to keep it running. All right, so the first curve that we got pulled up here is fuel pressure, and it like looks okay until you realize that this scale is 0.7 to 0.9 PSI. That's not enough. Less no. than one. <laughs> Look at that. And the thing is, it's a little deceptive because even at zero, there's still flow. Yeah, with no zero pressure, pressure, there's still some flow. So while this is indicative of a, a big problem, the bigger problem is gonna be when we look at the fuel flow in pounds per hour. Yeah. Let's check that out. The scale goes from 50 down here up to 140. And the most that we saw is 135, but I think the thing you predicted, both of you guys did, was that it just flat lines at a certain point. And it's at a very low RPM. At 40, 250 RPM, the fuel pump is just not keeping up. That's all there is. Basically, it won't flow any more fuel with more RPM, it's just done. Yeah, my determination is that pump is inadequate. Well, yeah, and it's also a pump nobody Genius. ever Genius. is yeah. going to use. I mean. This was just for the point of making a sample for the audience to see how one, bad it's One bad. thing for sure, nobody's gonna pay $65 for it. No, they're it. not. So the next thing, I don't think we should bother trying to upgrade this fuel system at all. Let's go straight to my $15 pump. And Ready? this is basically just a replacement pump. 